hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com. And what I want to do today is actually show you how we created this particular effect on this image. Now there's two different effects going on here. The first one I want to show you is how we were able to get this, and you'll see in the original image, how we were able to get the subject lit where it looks like she is in the sun, okay, or she has some nice warmth to her skin and just a nice glow, right? And then we also were able to add this over here, this flare, uh, which gave it a little bit more of that sun effect, okay? And um, I, I wanted to show you this because we just came out with a uh, set of vintage moods overlays, is what we're calling them. It's a set of 15 different overlays. I'm gonna show you one of them today. So let's get straight into it. Here's the original image. Now, as you can see, it was not exposed 100% on point okay and there is a reason for that a lot of times if we're outside and we're not quite sure especially with the white with the sun coming in and out we'll go under a little bit okay and that's again that's a whole nother lesson but we use the underexpose it but nonetheless we want to come up with something like this so what we ended up doing was creating this effect using the overlay and then a little bit of lens flare so let's just go ahead and create the same effect over on this image and I'm gonna show you how simple it is all right so the first thing I need to do is open up my overlay and I'm just going to go into my overlays folder and this particular one is overlay one okay and I'm just gonna click open and then now you're gonna notice that this is in a horizontal landscape we're gonna flip this okay but let me just drag it into the image first now you could just size it you know and stretch it and make it any size you wanted to in and out it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna flip it see how it works and then this hot spot here is really what we're gonna be concerned with okay so let me just um, flip this Actually, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to go transform, and I'm going to flip it just 90 degrees counterclockwise, or clockwise. So I'm going to go like that, okay? And then what I'm going to do is just go over to my le my uh, layers blending styles, and I'm going to go where it says normal. I'm going to go down to soft light. And now instantly, we already have this. Now, you can see, though, some of it's going on her face. So I can either erase some of that if I want to, put a mask on it if I want to, or I can even just try to flip this. Let me go edit transform flip vertically and yeah right there you can see that made a difference let me take that off that's what it was that's what it is so that's a better orientation for it and we still have a nice vignette going around and we have some nice light on here but the other thing that I want to point out is sometimes this will make the image look a little softer a little bit more hazy okay and you can see here from that to that Still looks good, but I want to add a little bit more of that contrast back. So what I'm going to do is just flatten this layer, flatten, and then I'm going to go into the image adjustments and then brightness contrast. And then I'm just going to bump up the contrast just a little bit, okay, just to, just to give it a little bit more pop. And that's really it, okay. So if I turn that off, you can see it's a little flatter, and then that gives it just a little bit more punch. So right there, we could leave it just like that, and we would be happy with that okay we've added a lot of warmth to that I mean look at the let me go back look at the chair look at the skin tone right and let me turn it off now once again and you can see see it right there it just really really pops makes it look like it was in the sun so let me just step forward now go back to where I was okay that's where I was now what I'm gonna do is something additionally I haven't really taught this before but I'm gonna teach it here today and it's real simple and I'm probably gonna come out with a set soon with different lens flares okay just to make it easier for people but here's what you do create a new document so just go file new make it whatever size that you want I'm gonna make it the same size as this image so I'm gonna go 8 and I'm gonna go 10 for the height 300 dpi okay then I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is black paint bucket drop it in there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go filter and I'm going to go to render and then I'm gonna to go to I'm sorry yeah render and then lens flare okay and now I can choose whatever I want any kind of lens flare the problem with this or the only thing that's a little tricky is you don't really know how it's going to look once you get it onto your image all right so I've been playing around with them and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna create a set of these but you can you can make it as big as you want as small as you want it really doesn't matter and you can position this just by moving this around all right now I'm gonna show you because I actually did one before and I wasn't happy with it so I fixed it on the fly and I'm gonna show you how I did that so let's just Let's just go ahead and put it up there in the corner and then just click OK. All right, so there we go. Now we've got that, okay? Now what I can do 
is I'm gonna separate the two and I'm gonna drag this on top of this and it's gonna say my source doesn't match, it's fine, okay? Now, that doesn't look so good. We want this to all come through, but we want the black to go away. So an easy way to do that is go into your layer styles again. So go to where it says normal and then go to screen. And then boom, we instantly have that on top there. Now that doesn't look that good because you can just see the circle. So I wanna bring them, I'm gonna scale it, I'm holding the shift key and bring that like that, okay? Now, again, might not be 100% happy with that. So what I could do is I could lower the opacity if I want to, okay? That might look a little better, but I want it coming from this direction. So all I'm gonna do is just go edit. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go back to that layer. Go edit transform transform and then flip horizontally and then boom there we go there's the lens flare so now you can have it as you know as pronounced as you want or as little as you want i can still like again i said it's on its own layer i can have it up in there if i want to or i can have it go full strength i'm going to go somewhere in there and i'm actually going to position it off a little bit of the page so i'm just grabbing the image and then just holding it out like that Okay, and then you can kind of see that direction and you can see a couple of the sunspots down in here. I can erase them if I want to while I'm on there or if anything is going on her body, I can do that, which I may do. So let me just go down here and just erase these and make sure that that's not getting in the way. But now this is on its own separate layer, so I can either have that on or I can have it off. Now again, it's on its separate layer, so I can make that bigger if I want to. Okay, I can just stretch it, bring it back into view obviously try to keep the skew to where you want it. Actually, that skew is off now because I didn't hold the shift key, there we go. See, so if I wanted to go something like that, and I could keep it just like that, turn it on and off, and you can see it's almost casting a little bit of light over here if you watch. That's without it, that's with it, and I kinda like that. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. So that's as simple as that part of it is. Now you don't have to do that. You can just leave it with the overlay and it'll look fine. But if you wanna add a little bit of splash of uh, sunlight or like the, the uh, sun hit the uh, lens and it gave you a lens flare, then go for it. All right, so that's it. That's gonna wrap it up. I just wanted to show you one of our overlays and how simple they are and how drastically they can change an image. So that's it, that's gonna wrap it up. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you wanna get your hands on these overlays that we created, you can head over to our club at newportraitbiz.com forward slash club. And uh, once you log in there, you'll see them in the private club store at a discount. And uh, if not, they're also in the Etsy store. And uh, that will be at a regular price inside the Etsy store, and you can download them there as well. And below, you'll find the links to these in the description box. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.